Britain's Prime Minister Johnson wants to build a link between Scotland and Northern Ireland. I made a video on that already. But now the Northern Irish Minister of Transport disagrees. Boris Johnson doesn't want to go down in history as the UK's gravedigger. That is why the Prime Minister wants the four countries he governs to be better connected in terms of transport. And Northern Ireland should move closer to the British motherland with the help of a tunnel that Johnson wants to have dug between Nor Scotland and Northern Ireland. Peter Handy, the chairman of Network Rail, which owns the UK rail network, plans to submit an interim report on the feasibility of the project before the end of the month. If this report is positive as expected, a formal feasibility study will be commissioned. Johnson originally proposed a bridge between Stranraer in Scotland and Larne in Northern Ireland. The idea was dropped because of the strong winds. An investigation came to the conclusion that the bridge would have to be closed 100 days a year. Instead, Boris's earth hole, as the plant tunnel is despairingly uh, called, it would be a good 40 kilometers long, around 10 kilometers shorter than the canal tunnel that is uh, the model for this. The problems caused by delays and the explosion in costs are still well remembered in the UK. So far, there is neither an official schedule or a cost estimate for the Northern Ireland Tunnel. Experts estimate it could cost up to £20 billion. It could get even more expensive because you can't take the shortest route. It runs through the 300 meter deep Beaufort Trench around 10 kilometers off the Scottish coast. Well over a million tons of weapons and chemicals from the Second World War are stored there. The British Army had simply thrown the stuff into the sea after the war. Every now and then military equipment is washed up on the Scottish and Northern Irish beaches. The Victorian railroad engineer James Barton had this tunnel idea 120 years ago. Around 1900 he had test drillings carried out in Larne. But the idea was rejected, too difficult, too expensive. The same fate could happen to Johnson's tunnel. The project is enthusiastically supported by the British Prime Minister and the uh, Minister for Scotland, Alistair Jack. But people are skeptical in the two countries that are to be linked. The Northern Irish Minister for Infrastructure, Nicola Mellon from the Social Democratic Party, thinks it's a crazy idea. Boris Johnson has many plans for Northern Ireland, be it the Boris Bridge or now the Boris Borough, but he would do better not to focus on glamorous Tory projects, but on the many problems on his doorstep. The Scottish Transport Minister Michael Matheson described the matter as a vanity project, which had been organized with practically no consultation, although infrastructure measures were a matter for the regional parliaments. And... MSP for the or MP for the ruling, uh, ruling Scottish National Party, Emma Harper said, even Johnson's own MPs know how crazy this project is. Tory MP Simon Hoare of the Northern Ireland Committee agrees. The trains could be pulled by a herd of tireless unicorns, he scoffed. Let's work on making the Northern Ireland Protocol work and put away the hallucinogenic drugs. Presumably, the hype around the tunnel is just a political maneuver by Johnson. He has few friends in Northern Ireland after accepting the Northern Ireland Protocol as part of the Brexit Treaty la late last year. It regulates that Northern Ireland remains part of the EU internal market and therefore has to adhere to the EU customs rules. As a result, checks on the movement of goods from Great Britain to Northern Ireland are now necessary. The Northern Irish Unionists do not like this. They consider the protocol to be a step towards the unification of Ireland. It is true that in Great Britain the crisis province that has dominated the Brexit negotiations for a long time would not be that missed. But Scotland is also about to make another attempt to leave the United Kingdom. The tunnel idea is intended to keep the Unionists in both countries happy for the time being. Member of the House of Commons, Sammy Wilson of the Northern Irish Democratic Unionist Party, the DUP, who was in favor of Brexit, welcomed the tunnel project but added, more important than the physical connection 
is that we are economically and constitutionally connected to the UK. The tunnel would bring only minor advantages anyway. The journey time from London to Stranraer is seven hours. Whether then use the existing ferry connection by car or are loaded onto a motor rail train, the journey is only marginally accelerated. The train will only be faster once the high speed uh, two express line has been built. This is a rail infrastructure project that will one day connect London with the Midlands and the north of England in record time. In addition, the rail link from Carlisle in the north of England to Stranraer would have to be modernized and the gauge in Northern Ireland adjusted. Some London of, uh, government officials have therefore made a different proposal. They advocate three tunnels, one from Stranraer, the other from Liverpool and Haysham in Lancaster. The tunnels are to come together in a roundabout under the Isle of Man and from there continue to Largan. One official admitted that they wanted to illustrate how stupid Johnson's tunnel project was. And I really don't know how much he's going to do. I said it in, in a video about Erdogan recently. That really sounds a bit connected to all the, the flag stuff, the nationalism stuff and everything else. I'm just wondering if that tunnel is the 2020s version of the 1930s Autobahn. But we will definitely hear more of that. And if you want to stay informed, please subscribe to my channel. Auf Wiedersehen.